So, Dr. Jen Cottle joins us now. Hi, Dr. Jen. Hi. Uh, we did a soundbite from the airport. A guy had a mask on, right? And he says, I'm trying not to get the flu. And we said, well, oh, how are you concerned about the coronavirus? He says, well, isn't it the same thing? It's it's not, not the, the same, same thing. thing. Not at all. How do you describe the coronavirus? So the coronavirus, um, it's a whole different set of viruses. Remember, viruses come in families. They're like groups of people. Flu is a whole family, influenza viruses. Coronaviruses, that's a whole nother family of viruses. It's different, but it can cause similar symptoms. Cough, shortness of breath, fever, right. upper respiratory symptoms, and even lower respiratory symptoms, things like pneumonia. So the point being is you'd say, well, how would you know if you had one versus the other? Initially, it might be hard to tell, right. but there are some things that would put you at greater risk for getting coronavirus, um, like traveling to certain areas and things like that. Uh, but they're not the same virus, not at all. Well, we just saw that there was a cruise ship. It turned out not to yeah, be the case, yeah. but they quarantined 6,000 people on right. a cruise ship because yeah. they're worried about it now being spread person to person. Well, it is being spread person mm -hmm. to person. So we've seen, as you mentioned, uh, our sixth case in the United States, and we have evidence of person to person spread in Chicago, a couple, a wife who traveled to China, but then the husband who didn't travel got the virus from the wife. That's from what we her. mean by person to person spread. So what we're seeing is that now, we know now it can go from one person to another, which changes the game a little bit. Because right? it, it's spread through the air. Respiratory isn't it? droplets, kind of like okay. the flu and colds and things like right. that, but respiratory droplets is how it spread. One right. of the new headlines I was just reading is that they're thinking that it can live on surfaces a lot longer than they thought, and it can spread on surfaces. Well, so and that would make sense in general because we know that many viruses do that. How long they can stay on surfaces is something that you know we don't know. And and this is something I was literally just looking at. This situation is changing minute by minute. Mm -hmm. I didn't send you guys my points till ten thirty last night. Why? Because we had updates up till 10.30 and new updates even this morning. Um, new England Journal of Medicine last night actually came out with a report that now we think people can actually spread it when they're asymptomatic, which means you don't oh, have no. to have the cough, shortness of breath, etc. And you may not even know you have it and still spread it. Now, I'm not trying to put people in a panic, but my point is we're learning every day because this is a new type of coronavirus. Coronavirus is the family. That's old news. But this strain of coronavirus is new. That's why we don't know a lot. So there's no vaccine. No, there's no vaccine, although one is being developed, the CDC How and the World Health Organization. How fast could you do that? So, I mean, it sounds like scientists are literally in the lab working day and night. I mean, this is what it Some sounds our like. Area. The Worcester right. Institute, j and I, I would hope so, right? Mm -hmm. um, however, it takes a while. This is You don't develop a vaccine overnight. But I know that the urgency of the situation certainly is driving that, and scientists are, are working. Where do you... Uh, <laughs> How do you feel about masks? Okay, so how do I feel about masks? So I'm taking my guidance and recommending things based on the CDC and World Health Organization. Now, despite the fact that we have six cases in this country, uh, one person to person spread, the CDC as of yesterday, and I have to give timestamps because right. that could change today. Yeah. But as of yesterday, they, they said our risk in this country is low. Therefore, the CDC and World Health Organization are not recommending that we wear masks in this country. So as a result, no, I'm not wearing masks. You don't need to go to Amazon and buy out all their masks or CVS or whatever um, at this point. Um, and we hope that doesn't change, right? Um, and, you know, to your, to your question of what do we need to be doing, the biggest thing that we need to be doing is basic hygiene stuff. And I don't know a lot of people feel like, oh, that's not enough. No, but it often is. Wash your hands. Stay home if you're sick. Cough or sneeze into your sleeve, not into your hand, and then touch a doorknob. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Get the flu shot, not because it's going to fix coronavirus, but because it's going to protect you against getting the flu. And we don't want any sickness at all. We need to keep ourselves healthy. We've also seen a lot of our local local colleges. Um, they've stopped doing their programs. They were going to have exchanges yes. with China. And they just said, you know what? We're not going to send our Well, kids. even Rowan. So I'm at Rowan University School yep. of Osteopathic Medicine. We send family docs over to China once or twice a year as an exchange program where we, we cross-teach. And our group that was supposed to go in a couple weeks, the trip is canceled. Rightfully so. And, and as we go, minute by minute, there are more and more travel restrictions because, you know, it's certainly spreading throughout the world. I mean, look, what I will say, because I don't want to just give all this sort of Debbie Downer news and make people panic, the idea is we are working very hard. This World Health Organization coming out and saying that this is a global health emergency, good. that's a good thing because what it's going to mean is that all of our nations are working together to help maybe the nations who are less equipped and not as easily able to handle something like this mm -hmm. if it came into their country. Okay. So we're going to stay positive. We'll probably have you ne back next week. I hope so. Because it is changing. It, every day. Every Great day. Great information. Thank you. Sure. We'll come right back.